uh, welcome to the uh, first annual Best Corpus Bookers and Diamond Appreciation event. You heard it correctly. It's the first annual. So this means everybody that's here, look around you, everybody that's here is very, very special because they can say, I went to the first. Huh? Thank you very much because it's very important because if there's no first, there's going to be no second and no third. Okay, we're going to keep it short today. I'm going to, uh, oh, my name is Trevor Nisbet. I'm going to start with introducing our commercial manager, or sorry, our chief commercial officer, Mr. Jurgen Lipikov. Later on, we will uh, introduce our corporate team. After that, we're going to do our first presentation of our corporate miles card, and then we're going to do the top three, and then we're going to see who's the winner of the Medellin or Barranquilla prize. All right? So first, a warm applause for Mr. Jurgen Lipikov. Thank you, uh, Trevor. Can I put this thing somewhere? Or? Thank you, uh, Trevor. Since you made me commercial manager today, <laughs> I promote you to corporate uh, <laughs> account agent, okay? <laughs> gentlemen welcome I'm very happy to see the uh, enormous amount of people that uh, actually showed up to our uh, first corporate event I'm very happy to see that um, this event of course is dedicated to the most important groups that we have as our customers corporate travelers and the frequent flyers it's a small but a great token of our appreciation from all the uh, people that work at Insular uh, the staff, management, and the board of directors. I'm even more happy that I now have the opportunity to shed some light on the developments that have taken place within Insular over the last year and some of the developments that will be taking place over the coming period. Um, the road that Insular has walked so far was characterized by a rocky surface full of potholes and U-turns. At times it was very difficult to keep the forward momentum but we have always adapted to whatever hindrance that was put in front of us. The perseverance and the commitment from all persons on our payroll are without a doubt eminent, of eminent importance to our continued growth. But most important is the loyalty of our customers, you. Well, I was attacked by a tree just now. <laughs> Um, and you, you all are part of our Insular family. I can assure you that we are very aware of the fact that we, especially over the last eight months, we have unfortunately not been able to deliver the level of services that we were used to. Um, our on-time performance has dropped over the last eight months to a level that we never expected. But our um, online performance before that was above industry level. We've done below average now, and I can promise you we're getting back uh, to the uh, higher levels again, and I'm going to explain you exactly how. The reason why we were uh, confronted uh, with problems, with uh, delays, uh, as you have experienced them, was the fact uh, that we had a problem in uh, Venezuela. Uh, it's simple put, it's a cash flow problem. We could not retrieve the revenue that we had out of uh, Venezuela. We sold a lot of tickets there. We do five flights per day, so we do a lot of sales, and we could not retrieve the income that we had. And of course, if you do not get uh, your revenue out of Venezuela for a period of over a year, uh, that adds up and brings you into cash flow problems. Um, I'm happy to say they were sitting on $85 million that we had. And of course for a company, and I presume for most of the companies here, $85 million is a lot of money, especially if you cannot get a hold of it. Um, so we had to plan something, um, you know, to survive this crisis. And what we did is we have limited uh, the amount of seats that could be sold out of Venezuela to destinations other than Curacao and Aruba. We have offered this cap capacity to other markets to get an occupancy level on our flights to these other destinations and that secured 
the existence of our airline. I can assure you that we came very close to the edge. In spite of the limitation of sales in Venezuela, the authorities there owed us, as I said, $85 million. It goes without saying that this had an extreme negative impact on our cash flow, and I'm happy to say that we were able to resolve this problem with the Venezuelan authorities and have a good working relation with them right now. But the effect, of course, of this, of this cash flow problem reflected on our operations. We do our own sea checks. These are elaborate checks on our aircrafts. We do it ourselves. You know, basically take apart the whole aircraft and we put it back together again. And this sea check uh, took longer than expected because of the fact that we did not get the dollars out of Venezuela and we needed to buy parts in dollars. Uh, therefore, we got confronted with delays on our flights, uh, longer sea checks, and as a matter of fact, at some point in time, we had several aircrafts sending, s sitting in the hangar at the same time. Um, of course, it goes without saying that we have chosen for safety. We have never, uh, you know, we rather have delays in our aircrafts in the hangar uh, until we can fix them so they're safe to operate. And we have taken uh, the delays as a consequence, and unfortunately, you guys have all uh, suffered from that. But as stated before, we have come to good terms with the Venezuelan uh, authorities, and now that they have paid us a large part of the outstanding, um, we have taken some uh, measures to uh, improve our on-time performance over the next uh, couple of months. And over, as a matter of fact, over the last month, we improved considerably already. What we did is we have hired extra resources to catch up on the time that we lost in our C-check. The C-checks are now going uh, as scheduled, and uh, therefore the, the planes are coming out of the C-check as planned. We've purchased, over the last couple of months, extra aircraft, and now we have a fleet of 16. This means that uh, we have a backup aircraft for each of our routes. If we have a technical problem on, a, on any of our flights, you know, we can swiftly put in another aircraft uh, you know, to, to recuperate the delays that we have. And um, we have also implemented, uh, since last month, a new itinerary between the islands. Um, you know, we got some extra Fokker 50s. And now we have raised the capacity between the islands of Aruba, Bonaire and Curaçao to seven flights per day. And they are evenly spread throughout uh, the day. So, you know, we have, uh, we have had our problems, but I'm just trying to tell you here that we have come over them. And, um, you know, I can guarantee you that we will be back, or we are back as a matter of fact on on-time performance that we had before. So you, I know how much, how important it is. If you travel as a businessman, you want to be there on time. You don't want to have an hour delay. You know, it's, it's costly time. And I can assure you that we do all our utmost to make sure that you guys get there in time. I was instructed by uh, Trevor not to speak longer than 10 minutes, so I'm going to close off here. Um, I would just like to mention, as a short close, that uh, we will be adding new routes this year to our itinerary out of Curaçao. On December 15th, um, we will add Port of Spain again. Uh, we flew it in the past, we're going to fly it again as of uh, December 15th. Yeah. And also to Georgetown out of Curaçao as of uh, December 18th. Last thing, the very last thing, we know that there is always room for improvement of the services that we deliver to you. I just want to say, rest assured, that we will always keep reaching higher to deliver that with the full commitment of all our staff. Thank you very much for your attention. I actually skipped the full page of my speech, so. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I put me in the wrong order. In order to keep it short, I uh, made some notes. Okay. The name of the event, the best corporate bookers and diamond appreciation event, actually it says it all. This is a night where we show our appreciation to our corporate clients for continuously supporting and choosing Insider for their business travels. 
our best bookers, our corporate best bookers, are the people that actually make the reservations, the ones that are in contact with us every day for changes, for questions, for complaints, for thank yous, and for, oh, thank you for, for doing this for me. It's very important. And it's, you know, it's, it's part of our daily job. We actually enjoy it. And on a Friday, on a Saturday, when, when it's kind of quiet, we actually think, okay, where are our people? And then Monday, bah, it starts again. Rah, rah, rah. We love it. Um, I would just like to uh, go back a bit, our corporate department, for those, because we also have some Diamond members here who um, uh, would like to um, know a bit more about our corporate department. It was launched in January 2012 due to the growing demand of our corporate flyers and, our, and the growth of our airline. We developed and we're still developing our direct bookings tool called A2A. This is a tool that provides 24-7 real-time access to our inventory and gives our, our corporate clients complete control and independence when it comes to booking in Salaire. Today we can proudly say that after almost two years that in our network we have 200, almost 200 companies that work with us we are talking about the smaller companies that is like maybe one person only, but we also have bigger corporations with branches on the different islands. So this growth is actually proof that it was needed and, and it's working. I think it's very important for you to know who the people are that you're working with because at a certain point you only know us by email or maybe by phone. So. I would like to call forward, I think the one person that everybody knows here, and that is Fariella. Fariella, yeah. There she is. Fariella is at the office, almost some stamp. We have to see you. <laughs> yeah. Fariella is at the office from almost 7 a.m. in the morning, some certain days, and sometimes at 7 o'clock at night, we still see her answers going. Even when it's lunchtime, you see sometimes the answers are going. It's very important. I'm showing my appreciation. I think all of you also would like to show your appreciation by a big, big applause for Fariella Trini. Another person. Uh, that I also would like to introduce is Rickert Libir. Does that name ring a bell for anyone? Rickert Libir, yes. There he is. Next to being, um, actually, let me put it this way. He is the supervisor of the call center. The call center is a whole different beast on its own. But as soon as we need help, he's the first one there, and he's always ready to help, and I guess you guys know that too. Well, now you see him, Mr. Rickett Libier. Thank you very much. Now, these people that I'm gonna introduce right now, not all of you have to deal with them, and some of you are happy that you don't have to deal with them, but we are happy that we have them because they make sure that the payments come in. <laughs> Carla Hercilia and Yatna Susa. These are the ones that are sending you emails. Payment reminder, payment reminder. Huh? <laughs> yeah, without them, maybe some payments wouldn't come in. So this is Yatna and this is Carla. They're the ones that um, make sure that we, you get the friendly reminders that um, we're still waiting on our money. <laughs> of course, another name that uh, uh, most of the people know here, but it's also good to see is uh, Benjamin Reumer, our dedicated Star Miles agent. There he is. Benjamin Reumer. I'm checking on my list. Did I forget anybody? Oh. 
well, this is our team. These are the people that are uh, that wake up every morning, come to uh, Ensilair, and just dedicate all the time to making sure that our corporate clients, our A to A users, our corporate bookers, however you like to call yourself, um, that they get the service that um, you deserve. I'd like to thank you very, very much. Can we get a picture, Robert? <laughs>